It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas. This is Panay News Tonight. Here are the top stories of the day. The 2022 elections in Iloilo City and Province was relatively peaceful despite some issues with long voting queues and faulty vote counting machines. Voters lined up in their respective voting precincts even before the venues opened around 7 a.m. Some polling stations also saw long waiting lines, partly due to the tedious but necessary pandemic health protocols. A 76-year-old man reportedly died while waiting in line in Barangay Bagakay, Pototan, Iloilo. The victim was rushed to the hospital but was declared dead on arrival. Despite all this, Governor Arthur Defensor Jr. said no election-related incidents had been reported by the Iloilo Provincial Police Office. Peaceful, no? Tao hai, ang atong eleksyon. Ati uh, makita man atong diri sa buong. No? Iloilo City Mayor Jerry Trañas commented on the generally peaceful and efficient election process and thanked the efforts of personnel from the Commission on Elections and the Department of Education. Nagpaslamat din po sa mga katapo sa atong nga eleksyon na rediri sa DepEd. Katauhay sa atin pagbuto, no? Kag uh, hindi buto, uh, nakasulod ako dayon, kag uh, nakabuto ako dayon. The Commission on Elections in Iloilo reported around 22 malfunctioning vote counting machines on election day to day. Comelec Provincial Election Supervisor Attorney Ian Lee Ananoria confirmed that they had received these reports from the municipal and city election offices. Most of these reports consisted of issues with paper jams and the unreadability of voters' receipts. However, Ananoria said that voting would continue despite these malfunctioning VCMs. Technicians were also called to fix the machines while the Comelec Iloilo held spare VCMs in case there was a need for replacements. More than 12,000 police personnel and 5,000 personnel of the 3rd Infantry Division were mobilized all over Western Visayas as the public took to the polls today. Police Regional Office 6 Information Officer Lt. Col. Arnold Solis said they have personnel in every voting center. Meanwhile, 3rd ID Major General Benedict Arevalo clarified that, despite having deployed troops to augment the PNP, they have more soldiers in combat mode to run after rebels. Solis reminded police personnel they are only allowed to secure the perimeters and are not allowed to enter the polling precincts. He also reminded them to remain neutral and refrain from talking to candidates. And those are tonight's latest headlines. This is your anchor, Elisha Lusari Pumida. Good evening. For more stories, check our website, www.panaynews.net. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Grab the digital copy of Banai News on Press Reader. Read Banai News via the Inquirer Plus app and avail a free 30-day trial. Join Panay News community on Viber. Don't forget to always wear your face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands, and observe proper physical distancing.